What's going on you guys? So for another Dell Optiplex 3090 small form factor. It's going to be a tear down of a brand new PC. So first I'm going to do is you know, the side cover panel. So you see this one here, the plastic, you're going to click, click it like this and we'll slide to the left. And don't forget, you got to press this down right here before you're gonna slide it. So first all we'll do is remove the front cover basil. It's all plastic. The hard drive, three and a half inch. Another hard drive cage. And so what you guys need is uh, this is the tools I'm going to be using. So it's got the pliers, a flathead, Phillips head, and this is a smaller Phillips head I'm going to be using. Now I will remove the SSD, the 2280 M.2. And just so like this. You only you're gonna go only that way, you can always just see how you remove it like this gently. Comes out. What I will do now is disconnect the uh, RAM. Now, I'm gonna remove the SATA cables. You guys, this would be for the 3090, 5090, and the 7090 because I don't want to make two, three separate videos for the tear down. This is going to be all in one. Uh, basically, the 5090 and a three and a 7090, it's using different motherboard, but basically the, the the case is the same, and it's using the same cooling fan. And basically, everything's the same, and just the front cover is different a little bit. So now, what I will do is you see this. Uh, front right here like an l-shaped frame i'm going to remove that same on the front here Let's hold on one screw just comes out this must look like now I will remove the video card so what you're gonna do is you see this stick your finger right here and there's a clip right here you're gonna lift it up like that See that right there in the corner, right here at the top? You're gonna click on it right here, lift it up your finger like this, then you're gonna pull the video card out, gently. Don't forget, you gotta press this up right here, you see this? A little clip, you're gonna press it up gently. Hold this with your finger like this, then you pull the video card out, because if you don't, you're not able to pull the video card out. This is the secure clip, preventing for video card coming out. Now, what I will do is I'm gonna go backside here like this. I'm gonna disconnect. There are three screws in the back. I'm gonna remove them from the power supply.
Yeah, if you guys are asking how much does the system cost new? Uh, with this one, i5, uh, they go for around $800 and plus tax. But that's not an i7. If it's i7, it's going to be a lot more. Now, what I will do is I'm going to disconnect the CP cooler heatsink here. So you guys can see. So over here is a, uh, it's connected to the motherboard. One, two, three, it's like a four pin wire, four wire. And this came from the motherboard. Just remove it. And before I'm gonna do that, I need to get a paper towel to wipe down the thermal compound from the CPU. Wipe it off before we pull the CPU out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that be the last part. When I pull the motherboard, then I pull the CPU. What I'm gonna do is disconnect uh, here in the corner at the top of uh, the four pin for the CPU power. And looks like it's a six wire here, also for the power. And the way you're gonna pull the power supply you get a flathead screwdriver. Uh, you guys can see here, there's a secure clip right there. You see that? You're gonna press on it. And the power supply should slide to the right. That way, just like that way. And you can just pull the power supply out. And before you do that, You're gonna disconnect the, the wire here for the speaker. And this is the power supply. So this is an internal speaker. And the way you remove it, is it's got a clip right here just press on your finger like this and this slides right up like this that's what you press on right here and it comes out what i'll do is i'm just going the power switch here in the corner here in the top right corner let me get this flathead screwdriver like this so now I'm going to go and start from the bottom, removing the screws here from the motherboard. So there are one, two, three, uh, four for 2280, and five, it looks like.
And now, before I remove the motherboard, all the screws here, see the top one here in front? That's also have to be disconnected. So I'm gonna do that quickly. This just comes out like that, a little piece. Also, remove the power switch here. Maybe be the last part, I'll do that. Okay, so. So we got two screws here removed. Now there'll be third one here in the corner, right corner. And this one, I gotta use a smaller Phillips head. So don't forget, either 2280 or 2330, you gotta remove the screw here, it's modeled to the case. See that? You gotta, gotta remove it, don't forget. And there's gonna be one here in the corner, left corner, you gotta remove. So gently, just make a double check, make sure. So what I'll do is I'm gonna pull the motherboard out quickly. And you guys have to check, make sure everything's disconnected again. So you see this little clip right here? Uh, you gotta press it up so you can pull the motherboard out. And just grab like this jelly and it should come out. Here's the motherboard. What I will do now is I'm gonna pull the CPU out. So So it's like a micro TX, but a little bit wider. And it's actually built in. You see the USB ports. And this is be the front uh, for the header power switch can be in the corner here. At least it has a heat sink here. And here's the back. And And this is for the wireless M.2 wireless LAN right here. It's connected. So now what I'll do is, will be the last part is, I'm gonna remove the, here's a power switch here in the corner. I just need a flathead screwdriver. And pull that one out. And just, it's hold by two clips right here. You see that? One and two, one at the bottom and one at the top. That's it. The case. And the last part I can you guys do is, uh, would be rubber feet here. You see in the bottom here? That's also removable. Look at that. Remove them. See that? I'm gonna strip it, completely remove the feet from it. See that? If you guys have one that's missing, they usually sell this online also, the rubber feet. I'm gonna do the other last ones, be a bonus. Now this is the real tear down. 
There are two, four more in the back here. You see that? I'm just gonna leave them on, but. So guys, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.